Meghan Markle here. Today is April 16, 2024. It is 3.28 a.m. This is video number three. So, this is these are the numbers. Let's go on Twitter. This is the same. Let me refresh it. This is the same numbers as the previous uh, recording. My last recording. Okay, so first tweet. By letting Meghan and Harry walk away, the royal family then just lose a duchess. They lost a direct line to the heart and minds of people across the globe. Now the royal family is gasping for air, trying to hide the rotten eggs and the palaces. Fire. Okay, so where is that? Okay, I'm not going to click on it. That's one of the UK uh, papers. Okay, and an era where the monarchy is by all. Oh, she was a thread. Okay. Okay, in an era where the monarchy is battling to stay relevant and justify its existence, sidelined two of its most popular and media savvy members seems in plain language like a royal f up. It's akin to scoring an own goal. The thing, what happened with the institution? You know, when you're telling a lie, you already know it's a lie, but you yourself, you don't follow your own lies. You tell people certain things so you could move on with something else. But the thing is that as they were telling the people lies, they didn't manage to acknowledge reality. Okay? To see what reality is and then implement, do changes with themselves with reality. It's not like I'm telling people to do this type of thing. There's no reason to live your life in lies. It's a lot of work to lie. But this is the way these people roll. But I'm liking it for them because they're self-destructing right now. But they tell the lie and they believe their own lies. Meanwhile, Harry lives in reality. Megan lives in reality. So as the BS were being said about them, they know their truth. So they're like, okay, you don't want us, you know, we'll leave. Well, it's not like that. They said we'll leave, but they were pushed out. You know, the Simon Case thing and all of that. But um, these people are ridiculous though. They, it's like, uh, you know how they say, drugs, drug dealers don't use their own product. Okay, they only sell it. So the UK was using their own nonsense that they were selling to the people. <laughs> Let's continue. All uh, right, with the insane media coverage of Harry and Meghan, their names are always mentioned when speaking about the other royals to get attention for the working royals. And the thing is that, still, even if they're trying to get, look at, uh, for instance, with the PDD thing that was happening, how quickly they attached, well, I mean, these people are pure, pure, pure vile. Look how they attach Heavy's name with the PDD thing. Only because there was a picture of him with PDD. Meanwhile, in that same event, William was there. But they crop him out. They only mention Harry. So Harry could be smeared. So they could smear Harry's name. And then whoever. Now, I don't want to lose track here. But whoever wrote the court document paper for whoever they represent in terms of lawyering, that kind of thing. We need to look his connection with, I don't know, whoever the GOP people who's trying to get heavy out of here in the country and his connection with the institution and all of that. And those people who hired that particular lawyer should be very careful if this is the way he is writing his thing because it could be someone they hire to make sure to cover their bases. There might be some kind of, this is pure speculation on my part because seeing how the institution roll, how they work, they have 
someone and anyone and every post you could imagine when they need their help they know they got their um their base covered so in that particular lawsuit they mentioned heavy's name as an example i think i read it somewhere and it's probably in one of my videos okay i don't know which video but for some reason they hire um i'm saying they hire they mentioned heavy and that thing but if you didn't read the document to see what they were saying, you would assume Harry's in that mess, but it's not. But they use that opportunity to smear his name. Any chance that these people have, I don't know its connection, whoever wrote that document, its connection with the institution, with that foundation in the U U.S. who's trying to get Harry out of here, I do not know. But they use that opportunity to mention Harry anyway. Okay, but the thing here that's holding true to itself, people who truly knows Harry, people who have met Harry, and the work that Harry is doing. And then when it comes to the other ones, the left behinders, because they, it seems like they don't know how to do anything ethical. They don't know how to do anything good. Everything that they do, it's like putting their foot in their mouth. Okay, every chance that they give them, they do something stupid. So they don't really need Harry to put them down. They're doing it themselves. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, uh, why did I bring all of this? Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm saying that to myself. Talking about the other words without bringing Megan and Harry into the conversation is like deciding if you want 10,000 engagement or millions on social media. While your family's major effed up and ousting Harry and Megan. Okay, similar to Charles and Diana. This is the thing. Every chance that they get, they F it up. You would have thought that uh, Charles would have learned from Diana's thing. You know, he has his horse next to him. But yet, he allowed the nonsense with Harry, who's not even heir to the throne. There's already three extra spares, okay, after William. So, Harry was no threat. But instead... Every chance that they get to do the right thing, they F it up. Okay? But they eat their own lies. They believe the nonsense that they say. So, they thought the rest of the world were the same. Was on the same page as them. You don't know how hard they're trying to deter my channel. They're already flagging my um, PYTE already. Meanwhile, all last year, PYTE was demonetized. And... Uh, I had to do a lot of things to revamp my channel. I don't know if there's some videos you probably was aware of. May no longer there because I wanted to be monetized. They made their stupid rules. So I had to comply. But now they're flagging me for things they already approve of. Okay. All last year, that channel was demonetized. In order for it to be back in the monetization program, not only do I have to remove things that did not align with uh, their new rules but they did a thorough review of the channel to be back on the monetization program but now yesterday they flag in the day before they flagged several of my videos videos that were there for like a couple years i'm like what the hell okay so they're going after it they talk they really want you know me to change direction because all last week uh, or should i say the weekend i was talking about the the sussexes i wasn't posting them here so they're like oh you're talking about the sussexes let me make your life miserable i'm already in that zone it's like i'll show you the the gif that i'm thinking about like okay their nonsense doesn't face me i'm trying my best to follow their rules okay rules are meant to be followed and sometimes whatever when i don't give a f if you know i just let it be but they're doing their thing whatever let's finish with that thread Royal families major f up and ousting Harry and Meghan. Similar to Charles and Diana, as he couldn't stand how popular she was, jealousy is the root of the big messed up. And this is what's going to end him because he didn't learn anything from last time. Okay, neither William nor Kate have the charisma that Meghan and Harry have. And this is what I said. Okay. The institution, they, they want what those, uh, the charisma, uh, you know, people with some sort of human life and dignity, you know, who have life in them. 
they want that and this is why sometimes when they give their medals to people and they uh, invite those popular people into their circle but once you're in their circle they tame you they remove what makes you popular what caught their attention okay they tame you they remove that lively personality of you out and then they put you back into stone age type okay so they were trying to do that with <laughs> megan and then harry was uh, always had his but he control it but as soon as you know they kick him out he's doing his thing but anyway and this is why i had that video and i was like they got what they wanted why are they uh following megan why are they copying megan or something i'll show you the thumbnails of what i'm making reference to Okay, neither William nor Kate have the charisma that Meghan and Harry have. And I think the jealousy is coming from King Charles, Camilla, and William and Kate. Who cares? It's probably all of them, but who cares? Okay, yep. So there's me here. Wow, two hours ago. Meghan Marco came with 3 million soldiers with her. That's her IG followers. They didn't see that when it was publicly known. The 3 million soldiers of her is probably now a hundred times more. I was not part of the 3 million. The royal rats made me part of that 100 times. Okay, only if the royal rats had left her alone and that 100 plus soldiers, okay, are growing despite the continuation of royal rat uh, misinformation okay the uk royal family has become irrelevant we all knew it will happen but no one expected to happen so soon well they're still there okay they're still there so we cannot rejoice yet they're still there okay let's talk about megan markle ability to connect with people she's the royal family's missed opportunity for a slam dunk in terms of public relation megan's energy was refreshing and the family often perceived as stiff and out of touch she wasn't just there to smile and wave mm -hmm. <laughs> all they had to do put a word out to defend her and go cut ribbon and megan told them all of that she doesn't mind being behind the scene. She was just there to help people. But these people, they said, no, they want the spotlight. They want everything. They got the spotlight. Look what we are looking at now. Okay. They got the spotlight. Harry and Megan left the spotlight for them. Look, what are we looking at? Just BS after BS after BS after BS. <laughs> okay. The su Let me read this. The Sussexes aren't just any old members of the royal entourage. They're a modern, relatable duo with charisma to spare. They've got the kind of global appeal that makes people from Ohio to Osaka sit up and take notice. Harry with his everyman charm and rebellious streak turned Top Gun 007 family man and Megan, an American actress with a flair for public speaking and connecting with people, particularly in the Commonwealth countries where the monarchy should still mean something. Together, they were the royal family's golden ticket to staying relevant in the 21st century. Now, with a future king who will be working from home, according to reports, and a sick missing future queen concert, the royal family is left with either very old or members without the flair or the charisma to keep the public entertained and engaged in whatever ribbon they're cutting. All right, this is the part here. They, uh, was it Bojo sister? Want, oh, there was more. They wanted to be entertained, but the entertainment that they're showing, mm. All right, the royal family's decision to let Harry and Meghan go might just be one of those historic oops moment we talk about for years to come in an era where the monarchy is battling to stay relevant and justify its existence, sidelining two of its most popular and media savvy members seems in plain language like a royal f up. It's, a, it's akin to scoring our own goal in the final minutes of the World Cup with the world watching no less. Mm. That's a very way of putting it. Okay, very sad anyway. We have tacos for dinner. <laughs> the squad don't care. Cool. Okay, so that's an ad. And that the royal truth. There's a loving eye. Thumbs up. When Harry is being played, let's see what the boring folks will do now. They have successfully pushed them out completely. Disgusting folks. Yeah, that successful pushing out is by hiring Simon Case to do that paperwork. Okay, to make sure he's out. They, he literally write it on paper to make sure it's legal. So, Harry cannot force himself back like that. Pretty clear. And it could be the work of, you know who, the horse, to make sure he cannot come back like that. 
so she could take control because he harry was the only one who was not drinking the kool-aid and but that dumb brother of harry okay go alone just because somebody's smiling with you that doesn't mean they're all for your best interest okay have you understood that but the brother not so much oh my lord mm. There's this here. Pretty clear they're so, so much better than everyone else. The rest of the royals got super jealous for, of them. I mean, they were just doing things that they enjoy. And the royal family were doing the things that they enjoyed too. It's just that it's not to the liking of regular people. So if they believe on the way they live, I don't know. What's the problem? The problem is they're inflicting their personal thing onto other people people's children and all of that this is where the line cross but they enjoy all of the stupidity and then you have priests coming out to defend them i'm like what the f okay so they doing their own thing meanwhile heavy and megan who don't like this type of thing they let they literally told us what they're all about charities they passionate about things that they want to do heavy already said he wants to dedicate his entire life to do this type of work i i get all of my passion inspiration and energy from young people um and that is from from the ages of six or seven in the caribbean when you get a six-year-old turning around to you and telling you exactly how much damage your country and the developed world is causing them um all the way to 28, 30 year olds who at some point in their life have, have already a better understanding of duty and service than I ever did at that age. Um, because it's all about giving back. I've been a pessimist many times because of, the, because of the work that we end up doing, you can be surrounded by negativity sometimes. I had. And what we need to do is be able to create a platform so that they can be heard because they have the solutions to some of the world's biggest problems. You know, it, 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 worked for, it worked for previous generations, and we will always say yes to, to becoming a patron of a, of a charity that we, that we believe in and that we're incredibly passionate about. But I think in today's world, you have to be involved with, with things that make sense to where your passions lie, rather than potentially turning up to a charity once a year. I don't think that's necessarily beneficial to, to anybody. So, you know, what, what was your thinking in, in coming together? Whose idea was this? So that's, um, our, our, my motto is exactly that. Why, why another charity? Our foundation is not another charity. We're not, trying to, we're not trying to take up any more space. I think we all agree that the charity sector is quite full at the moment. But as I said, what we're trying to do is use our platform to be able to bring people together to affect change. A new spin on it from the, from the youth. As a prince, you have, you're born at birth with a natural platform to be able to try and make a difference, yeah? Which a lot of people have to spend years and years and years getting to that point. So from that, that perspective, I'm very lucky to have a platform to be able to try and make change in the causes that mean a lot to me, but also to you guys. And I, I'm still in your generation, by the way. But at the same time, as I said, being born with a lot of privilege comes a lot of, with, with a lot of responsibility. But I like to think that I'm, you know, I'm going to have to spend the rest of my life earning the respect for that privilege and trying to make a difference for the rest of my life. But the others, they're hiding. They're living a second life. So lying is not easy to deal with, to show people. But if they were living their true life and... But anyway, I've seen enough with these people. All right, next tweet. The Rangers be like, quote, Megan's choice of outfit shows she was never suited for royalty. Now, did those medieval outfits help Kate to be loved by William? Then he cheat on her and even have a child with Rose and Barry, the marchioness of Chomley. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> All right. we, we know, but allegedly for the sake of my video. All right, Meg's choice of outfit consistently shows that she was never suited for royalty. And this is the same. Be oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. When you look at the model that company put who wears that dress, it's like, what the hell? I will not even buy it. But seeing her and that, I was like, I want that. Ah, right, there's Megan here. Right, they're talking business here. Okay, look at their face. They're serious. They're talking business. I'm just saying. There's that here. Real proud. Mm. Look at this. 
I don't even want to go. I feel so bad for her. Okay, translation. Megan is far too modern and sexy to fit into our style, modely archaic institution. Okay. A woman has got to keep her partner interested. Men as visual. Mm -hmm. When Kitty wears a pretty modern gown for a special occasion, Egg seems more relaxed, a bit more proud to walk by her side, does not hold her hand or anything though, because they were told not royal. This is the facade, I think, with these two. Okay. And it seems like that's what happened with the institution. So the people that they marry with the big wedding, purely my humble opinion. That's for the public. This is the distraction, the fantasy they give the public. But the person that they really want to be with, okay, to raise the type of family life like you and I probably have in our home and all of that, you raise the kids, they do that with the mistress, in my humble opinion. And I think, in my humble opinion, uh, Prince Philip did the same thing. But for the facade of the public, they just play alone. Okay? Come to special events, show up and da-da-da, and then go to their private life. But they wanted Harry to do the same thing. Harry was not about that double life. But the thing is, this is all these my pure speculation. Okay? If what I'm saying is true, but I think there are some women who would not mind to do these things for them, to do the performance type of thing. Show all lovey-dovey for the public, and then guess what? Once they're off from the public, both go their separate ways. There are women who will be more than happy to do that. But the thing is that with these men uh, of the heir and future heirs and all of that, they lie to the women. Charles with Princess Diana. It's hard for me to say with current one right now with Egg because the woman chased him for 10 years. But still, the truth should have come out and said, I'm only marrying you for this. Okay. If she agree, she agree. If not, she move on. But they lie to the women. They pretend they love, they love, and they after a couple days or maybe months or something, and then they go back to their regular schedule thing, and they neglect the wife who thought for some reason was in love. This is where I think the problem is, and this is why Harry is living his best life. He's not that. He's not about that double life. That's what I think. Okay. Next tweet. Hmm. Let's see. Who am I going to take fashion advice from? The trolls who look like the back of a smash bus. <laughs> smash bus are the gorgeous man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a hard choice. Not. Oh my God. Look at Megan. Just killing it. You should see me. The first time I saw her coming out with, uh, with that dress, I was like, oh my God. My first thought was, I got to share it. For some of you who's not on Twitter. Okay. Remember, hemp is toxic fabric. There's that here. Jesus, give me strength. Okay. That look like the back of a smash bus. <laughs> I know. It's true though. There's that. That's an ad. Okay. So let's move on. Oh my God. I'm doing all these recordings tonight because I do not want them to be left behind. Because I have a whole bunch of lists. I'm here right now. These, I don't even think I will ever touch them again. All right, the mess, that's what I call this. All right, but um, I'm going to record these and then start editing. But at least I could always come to the, once I have them recorded, I'm good. Okay, I could always get to them anytime. But it's when they're not recorded, I'm not into them anymore. Okay, next tweet. Whenever Harry and Megan have anything good going, be it charity, work, or business, all of a sudden, they are called the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and Harry is called Britain's Prince. The media gaslighting is too much. And this is what I was saying. I don't know if it was in this video. Okay, with the PDD thing. They quickly attached his name just because there was an image of him with Kanye and PDD, and the other brother was there, but they didn't mention the other brother. So it makes me wonder who that lawyer is. Okay, these are the things sometimes I ask myself. Who was the lawyer who write that document, that court paper, to find, to see it's Harry's name they have to use as an example? The other brother was there. Why didn't he use that? Okay. 
All right, so let's see here. That's from New York Post. Britain's Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, look at each other as they attend the Royal Salute Polo Challenge. There's that here. Okay, I've realized that too. When it's negative, it's Harry and Meghan. When it's positive, it's Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This doesn't help the funded royals, but it's supposed to give a positive spin to the monarchy. Is it? That's what they mean. But I mean... People who don't pay attention to all of that, they, these people, these people, the 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 tabloid, they know what they're doing. It's not everybody who's following the ins and outs of the Harry, the Meghan, the royal family. I wasn't. They got me. To tell you the truth, they got me. I used to believe that BS. But when the nonsense, consistently of nonsense, start popping and I'm catching those headlines, it made me stop and think. And said why and then through that I went to find out why and I came and you see me I'm creating videos uh, and the videos like that then come just out of nowhere it's quite it something stupid that I saw and I thought it was funny and I posted it and one squaddy happened to see my post and then and ask for more and that's how you see me doing this and then as I look deeper and I realize this is, like Harry said, it's much bigger than that. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. What I want to make clear is we're not walking away. And we certainly aren't walking away from you. Our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations, but without public funding. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. I've accepted this, knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. But I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my family back from all I have ever known. To take, a, to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. I was born into this life, and it is a great honor to serve my country and the Queen. When I lost my mum 23 years ago, you took me under your wing. You looked out for me for so long, but the media is a powerful force. And my hope is one day our collective support for each other can be more powerful, because this is so much bigger than just us. YouTube knows it, and whoever is guiding YouTube to go after my channel like that, they know it. Because I'm hitting certain things that other people are not touching. But anyway, information is very important. All right? This does not help the funded royals, but it's supposed to give a positive spin to the monarchy, is it? Does it? All while screaming Harry and Meghan aren't working royals and take the titles. There's all of that. True, she's not Megan, Duchess of Sussex. That only applies if she is divorced. She is Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. That articles, uh, the okay, that article, the makes a world of a difference. Okay, so let's go to the next tweet. All right, I need to start editing. I want to get at least one of the editing out tonight. It's three fifty-four. Oh my God, this is Henry the Eighth. I believe she has a YouTube channel. I don't know if she has been posting lately okay but these are true squaddies true and true because a lot of her tweets i share with you okay there are plenty of non-working royals with titles megan is entitled to duchess of sussex because of who she married if you don't like it feel free to nook the entire hereditary system mm -hmm. the queen bestowed the title on harry and megan or the Avengers saying queen didn't have that right or know her own mind Okay, not necessary, just remove theirs. Okay, and then the report. But then Harry decide, wanted to give it. Why didn't they take it? I think I respond to this somewhere. All right, there's no comment on this. Let me read some of these. Okay, let me see if mine is there. Did I retweet it out? Okay, so there's Harry here. Okay, so that's, uh, how do you call this? GIF. Add, there's this. Also, HRH he will always be he's the son of the king he just can't use it 
okay but whatever okay i've been saying this for years funny how royalists don't even understand the system they support period exactly none of them understand how the monarchy works there's this people hate to think about what you have to call them if they were stripped of their title prince and princess henry his birth name okay so there's that that's an ad they are conflating a ducal title with a royal title since they don't think she's worthy to be royal then she wouldn't be a duchess either there's the ruling i hear there are more non-royal dukes than royal ones but they leave that part out Okay, Wallace was Duchess of Windsor. Three husbands, okay, three husbands possibly had been a hooker. Nope, let's not bring that. Okay, knowing what I know now, if I read more about her, I will know. Uh, these people, you know, may she rest in peace because seeing and after that audio that I heard, I really feel for her. Oh my God, and the China, oh my God. Okay, maybe she was just following the husband. We don't know. I don't know, but I'm not gonna let me let her soul rest in peace. Cause and and the when she was leaving, you could see what they put her through based on what they're doing to Megan right now and Princess Diana. What they've done to Princess Diana. If you see this, you could read it, but I'm not gonna read it. Okay, quote. If you don't like it, feel free to knock the entire hereditary system from orbit. The only way to be sure okay oh my god amen okay would it be wonderful if she did renounce it they did okay and she became the most respected successful humanitarian of our time a kick in the teeth for the class driven racist and uh divisive institution that is the british monarchy harry and megan did they wanted to renounce it or oh, she still retained the duchess title she already is a respected humanitarian her philanthropy is only bound to grow and the leap of bounds because she now is in control of the decision and where to allocate the funds unlike when she was still ambassador leave her alone gosh okay no she earned every letter in that title that was a gift from queen elizabeth ii and is now their married last name she doesn't have to renounce anything she doesn't owe anyone anything fergie is divorced but still using her title no one has asked fergie not to use it okay so let's where's the one that had nine comment I went too far down. Okay, let's look for it. Nah, this one. Not necessarily, just remove this. Okay, so let's see what some of the squad say here. Okay, I don't think you really want to get that ball rolling. There are people with titles who have committed actual crimes. There'll be no one left in the UK with a title. I mean, the entire upper class level in the, U in the UK seems to be, they should be in jail. That's all I know. Okay, why Queen Elizabeth II and his father didn't take it when Harry himself offered it back. You people truly believe titles have anything to do with their current success. You don't think it's their ideas, determination, and hard work is giving them what they have now. You lots are a bunch of crazies for sure. Okay, so that was my comment here, so let's move on. I even forgot I responded to that. I wasn't expecting my comment to be in there. All right, next tweet. Now I need to finish. It's four o'clock under that right now. Oh, right next to it. It's kind of funny. British media going all the way to Florida only to find out they can't enter the premises. <laughs> That's the laugh here. Dragon Slayer. Say you are not welcome here. Okay. Uh, the access denial media. There's that. I love it for them. That's an ad. Okay. The audacity of them. They totally disregard the commu the communique. Okay. The communique. The Okay, the Sussexes put out in 2020 regarding which papers are non grata. They are learning though. Mm hmm. There's one comment I was reading. Uh, Harry and Meghan mean what they say and they say what they mean. What did they expect them? What did they get out of that? It's the same um, thing here. Okay, guys. Uh, guys, our good sis and her children may never step on that aisle again. And this also means that the aisle has less of a chance of winning the IG bid. While I heard for good King Harry, the, okay, the good Lord, maybe that's not what you mean. The God Lord sometimes delivers you from traps unforeseen. Let's take this as a win. Okay, so there's that here. It's not safe for Megan or the kids to go back to the UK. But considering that the monarchy is full of elderly and cancer-ridden people, there is a bound to be a funeral around the corner. <laughs> 
it's not funny, but it's true. Do you think Megan can skip out on possibly, God forbid, two funerals? I would like to hear your opinion. Okay, she skipped Phyllis because she was pregnant, unless a significant figure. I don't, I don't see her attending more than one or two. Who? I don't see her attending any of those left behind us. The queen was the only one. That family's pull over Harry has greatly diminished since Queen Elizabeth II. Going to his father's funeral will be little more than checking a box. I don't see him dragging Meghan and the children back to Salty Island just to take attendance. They have no good reason to go back. Yep, I don't see her going back. Let's... Okay, our good sis will never step or bring her babies to that salty island. She's done with the cesspool. They want to punish him totally and give a signal to any derangers, yep, that they can attack him and Megan. I pray they hold fast and steady and don't let this bother them at all. I feel Harry is done with the toxic pit. Imagine the son of the king can pay for his own protection. Okay, definitely when the UK is not safe for the founder and his family not a home of respect the uk should withdraw their bid for we are invictus okay so the next one is a uh, ad let me go to the next tweet that was a nice little discussion next one okay american riviera orchard delfina natural figures wife also post her special gift oh she did okay there's that strawberry gem makes me happy so she posted that I love, okay, I love your gem, American Riviera. She tagged her. That's nice. Okay, Megan, the new Duchess of Things, Tamu. Okay, American Riviera, Orchard. There's the laugh. There's this. Okay, so there's that here. What did Megan give the queen the moment she met her or give her on Christmas? I mean, look at his smile. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so that's an ad. Okay, love this a lot. There's this. Let's go to the next tweet. There's that. Oh, the absolute serve. Heavy and Megan, I was always familiar with your game. All right, so there's that here. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, they are in a very serious discussion. Probably the next business venture here. Maybe this is Delfina there. I have a feeling they're doing something together. I don't know why. Oh, so there was no comment. All right, next tweet. Now, this is a video of BBC. It might turn into a sour taste in your mouth now. Back to the BBC. Okay, I saw this. I didn't listen to it, but I was just uh, reading the, the caption, and I said, let me add it. Okay, I don't know who this person, I don't follow this person. It just happened on my timeline. I don't know if one of the squadies that I follow we tweeted i don't know but anyway john o'farrell quite right to ask why does bbc keep following daily mail lines allowing their bias to affect national agenda i love bib and have made this point privately too okay so tim walker fair to assume john o'farrell will not be invited back maybe that's why <laughs> maybe that's why i uh i share it i'm not even gonna go too much maybe Okay, these two comments I'll go into after I listen to this. It's a minute and 33 seconds. There will be screenshot, okay? John, we'll be talking later about what effect this has on politics here or not. But as uh, someone connected to the Labour Party, I want to ask you, though, about Angela Rayner and about the rumbling row about this. And clearly the Conservatives have been trying to pull strings here and keeping this in the public eye and in the newspapers. And some of the newspapers are very hungry for a story like this. What do you think, though, of how the party's handled it? Because some people on the inside of the party think they could have nipped it in the bud a long time ago if she'd been more proactive at the beginning. I think this is such a ridiculous non-story. And uh, when we're sitting here and we've got, you know, uh, war in Ukraine, war hmm. in the Middle East, and we're talking about something that happened that long ago, hmm. something that the police well, could only prosecute within the first year after it happening. This was in the FT yesterday, that if the police were going to take any action about these alleged uh, financial misdemeanors, that would have happened in the first year. So everyone in Manchester right now, I hope all the crimes that you've endured have <laughs> been sorted because Manchester police are spending time on this. Mm -hmm. And Laura, I have to say, for, for, for you as a broadcaster, for the BBC here to keep spending time on this and to have Yvette Cooper sit here and come and talk about violence against women and girls and that to take second place to this bit of gossip that the mail has pushed and pushed and pushed 
and for the BBC to have to say, we have to cover this, because the Mail have keep covering it and keep covering it, and well, so it becomes a story, and it's not a story just because the Mail says it's I a story. I think a lot of viewers would think that Greater Manchester Police aren't exactly a bunch of sort of pussycats who just investigate something because a Tory MP tells them to, but Ian wow. Duncan Smith... I she, cut, she cut him off. But, eh, the, I think BBC has turned into, like, Fox News right now. I think, uh, you know, the same group is running it now, especially after when the brother came out and said the BS about the mother, okay? The BBC is no longer another trusted... Oh, look at this. They did that video of uh, William w walking with that fake Kate. Okay, maybe it's a Kate, but not the Kate, his wife, Kate Middleton. But anyway, you see the comment here. Let's move on. All right, so this one is a LOL one. And then I have a prayer from the squad. Oh my God, this one is so funny. I hope there's no music because I did listen to it. There. It was, I find it funny. When Willie lags onto X, all right, so she tag all the squad here. All right, eight seconds only. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Those squad or something when he log on to X, that's what happened. There's me here two hours ago. You're effing genius. Yeah, I wonder how big the pile of laptop are ending up in the corner of his room. There's that here. That's an ad. <laughs> Judith Woods, Harry and Megan are holding hands again. There's a laugh here. That is very realistic. Full of jealousy and wishing his life was full of freedom and happiness like his little brother. Eh, he shaped the life for in some shape or form of where Harry and Megan are right now. Well done. There's the laugh. The squad are just laughing. Okay. So this is my last one is a Sussex prayer. Okay. The squad did that prayer. And I saw it and I put it. Prayer for the Sussexes and their supporters. Psalm 3. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? How many are saying of me? God will not deliver him, but you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustained me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. Amen. Okay, so that was from one of the squad. All right. Oh, some squad add more to it. There's amen. 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 So let's read this one. Where is it? Okay. Jesus, may everything begin touch turn into gold. God, protect and strengthen her. May the God who turns impossible situation around give Megan peace in the midst of the storm. Yep. Whatever they have planned against Megan, I reject it and send it back to the sender. Amen. I love you, Megan. All right. So that's that. These are the prayers. Okay. Amen. I join you in praying for Prince Harry and Princess Megan. Thank you and everyone who joined in. All right. So when I come across these tweets, the uh, prayers, I share them with you. And this is how I started putting prayers at the end of my video. You don't see too much lately on this channel, but on PYTE, yes. Because when I talk about Harry and Megan, uh, even if I don't see this, I search for prayers. Okay. So it's a squad. And I used to see them a lot. And then I will put them and read them at the end of uh, my tweet. And when I don't see them again, and I was like, what's going on? That's when the habit of searching for prayers. Okay. I Google and search for prayers for whatever it might be. All right. So that is it. I'm not going to record anymore. I have these left, left behind. That's like for a week and a half ago. I'm not going to touch them tonight. I've been recording all night. Right now it's 4.12 a.m. I need to at least edit one of the three videos that I recorded tonight. All right. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and the Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And those who have purchased on my channel on my shop. I appreciate it. I wish I could have put those prices much cheaper, but they are very expensive with the company that I'm dealing with. So yeah, I, I truly appreciate your support. All right. So that's it. And check out the site. I was showing on my last, let me see. Hold on for a second. 
Okay, so there are some new design that I did yesterday because I didn't record at all. So I was working on some of these. I did this yesterday, that one yesterday. I didn't publish it yet, so I need to work on it. <laughs> That's regarding Chris Chip. And this is why you see the ship in the back of the mouse. The mouse resemble royal rats. And there's this one here. I have two versions of it. One with the money signs and all of that and one without it. Okay, for those who don't want to see the money on it and one who see uh, one without the money, which is down here. I already published it. And this one has the money. I didn't publish them yet. Okay, and I have this. I published it already with the three dogs. Okay, the Montecito underdogs. All right, so that's that. And I have that one as well. Uh, we're proud of our mom, Montecito family. Okay, 43%. And then there's the Nigerian flag. I did this a while back. Um, I'm thinking if I should publish it. If you guys um, are watching this, you could let me know what you think. The one that says Paradise, established 2020. All right. So let me know if I should publish that. Put it on a t-shirt. These are old and some of you have purchased from these already and I truly appreciate it. This one was my very first one where ideas come to life. Monticito. All right, so that's that. And I think some of you bought some stuff from the foot one. I had two versions of it, but I like this one better. I don't know why. Okay, so that's it. And whenever I think of an uh, idea to put together, I'll do them. All right, so that is it. And thank you so much for your support. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. Yeah. 